Hello, welcome to Squad Ops. I'm Killer Man Time, and I'm joined by Wilbur. Say hi, Wilbur. Hello, everyone. How's your weekend? Gonna start out. <laughs> Oof. Let me tell you, it's gonna get interesting. Uh, so we got a little bit different going on. Wow, a little bit different. Oh, okay, so it's gonna be a little different. Um, for this op, for the next four days. Yeah. Next four days, um, we'll be performing a campaign named Spring Breakthrough. Um, Wilbur, quick. Yeah, <laughs> My mind has... Is, uh, part one of a five-part er, campaign that we got going on. We're going to be getting campaign part one tonight, and then tomorrow afternoon, session one, we'll have part two. Session, th session two will be part three. And then Sunday, session two time, 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time will be part four. And then on Memorial Day Monday at session time one, 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll have session five. And there's Wilbur with the, the countdown on that. So let's get over and view the op map real fast. And so this is the op map. It might look a bit different. Um, Wilbur, you're the you're the creator of this masterpiece. Want to give a rundown on why there are flags all over it? So what's going to happen is it's going to be almost like a, I want to say an AAS in or yeah yeah AAS slash invasion type campaign that's going to be run. So each one of these POIs that you see with um, U.S. flags, that's what the U.S. is going to start out with, and then the ones with the Russian flags, that's what the Russians are going to start out with. And as the session, as the campaign goes on, they're going to lose those points, and then those flags are going to change as the sessions go on. So it's kind of like a living document where we're going to show you each time after each session, or I should say after each round, um, well, no, after each session, who's lost what and who's gained what. And we're going to do the same thing with vehicles also because we got a vehicle pool. Oh, yes. Yes, we do. Give me a second. We will get a view on that. And this is the vehicle map for the U.S. Army. Now, you'll notice that it's split up. It's you've got one side's got a number on it, and the other one's got a zero with a image of the vehicle type with an X. This will help us keep count during each session um, how many vehicles have been lost. So each time a vehicle gets destroyed or I guess stolen, actually, and that's another thing that we'll have to go over. Um, we will tally off what each team has lost. So here's the American side, and over here we have the Russians, if it will switch. Oh, it doesn't want to switch. Okay, so I guess I'm doing it manually. Annual for the win. Pen and paper. Maybe. Hang on. There we go. Uh, so that's the Russian side, not much different from the U.S. side, just different vehicle types. Um, so now we're going to go over the command. For tonight, we are going to have, uh, we're going to have for the U.S. side, we're going to have Dorf as, his com as command. His two IC is going to be Silas, with his three other SLs being Boogie, the Alpha Guido, and Evan SMA. How about for the Russians? Actually, I didn't have that pulled up. Uh, so, yeah, command for tonight over on the U.S. side is going to be silent. And then his squad leaders are going to be Razor, Oddball, Athel, and Revy. All right. And I would go over loadouts, but we... It's very... How should I say it? Very complex. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, each each one of these POIs is a defensive uh, spot on the map. And depending on what the defenders pick, that's what their loadout's going to be. And then the attackers get their own separate loadouts. There's like, I think, uh, what is there? There's four for the defenders and yeah. one, two, three... 
four for yeah, there's four for both sides. So there's a total of eight different loadouts depending it, on what's happening nuts. for each side. Um, it is nuts. I'm not sure where they're going yet. Um, it would be fantastic if I could use the graphics, but since we don't know where they're going and the information we have is a little sensitive, we don't want to give things away. Um, for this round, or at least for this session, we'll probably just forego using any loadouts um, on stream. Uh, hopefully we'll have that fixed by the next session or so on. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult getting those that type of information out to you all, but we're gonna do our best as possible. Uh, just going over the vehicles again. So how people how the rules for the vehicles are gonna go is any vehicle which is destroyed outright will be removed from that pool. Any vehicle which is captured by the enemy and survives the round either in combat or stowed at a friendly held POI. Uh, will be added to, like, let's say the U the U.S. steal a Russian tank. They save it. It survives the round. Now they get an extra tank. Um, and then vehicles that are abandoned during the round will be con will be considered damaged beyond repair and removed from the pool. The exceptions are if it's, aban if it's abandoned and the engine's still functional, tires can be popped. It can be ta uh, tracked. They still keep that vehicle. Um, and then any times, like, you know, sometimes at the end of the op, uh, it's just the vehicle that's left. They can pull that vehicle back to a friendly POI. So they could, like, let's say the U.S., they push in deep into the Russian territory where all those Russian flags are. If they pull it back to one of those flags that they have that they still control, and then they dismount from there, they get that vehicle. They can't, if they dismount and they take it into that POI that's held by the enemy, even if it survives, they still lose it. Um, and then transports and logistics trucks, which are intact at the end of the round, but whose team is was eliminated, will not be removed from the pool. So it, it it's a little difficult. That's why we're going to keep like a like a tally going of what vehicles we have and what vehicles we don't have left. And hopefully, we'll be able to keep track of that as each session goes on. Yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to bring that information to you all as much as possible. All right, everyone. Sorry. Welcome to the beginning of campaign spring break. It's not spring anymore. Well, I mean, it's still spring technically, but everyone's already out of school. Uh, not that you've been in school the last few months anyways, but regardless, I'm President Barack Obama, and we're fighting the Russian horde here in Yeho. Russia has decided to attack through here and attack us before we could get our opportunity to attack them so we're gonna be defending novo ridge intelligence says they're gonna be trying to hit us first or hit this location first defending novo ridge we're gonna have evan's squad on this helmet mark or see that's a little too far on this helmet mark we're gonna have boogie squad out to the northwest if he can mark his position or excuse me the west northwest on the lap mark uh, Silas's squad is going to be down here at this uh, Lodgy Mark around there with the Map B toe. And then Alpha Guido squad is going to be out towards the IED Mark, kind of watching our entire eastern flank. Silas is basically our QRF. Evan's basically somewhat FOB security. Boogie is going to be watching our entire west. So Boogie's squad is going to have a tough fight. They'll probably come from the west. We'll just have to be careful. We have a toe. We've got a toe MRAP. You all have hats. We have a bunch of lats, so we have plenty of anti-tank capability if they do come out as, you know, hot and heavy, so to speak. So, we have access to 1 times 81 millimeter mortar, 1 times 120 millimeter mortar. Those are our supports. What are your questions? Well, what about how our heavy southeast about? flank? Excuse me? What? So, what about our southeast flank? I'll... That's Sorry, another thing. Guido. That's southwest. my domain. Oh. oh, Southwest? That'll be uh, Silas and Boogie, pretty much. Command air clarification on rearming hats. Yes, we can rearm off our vehicles. So, if we... Hold on. Should we load, like, one of those trucks back there with, like, a thousand ammo or something? 
Yeah, I was going to get all of them and use them as defense besides one yeah, of them anyway. I, I just wanted to make sure we didn't have access to an ammo crate. So yeah, we'll just we'll pull some trucks somewhat scattered around here. Give them some ammo. Uh, we will have a tow, so we want to make sure we have save up enough ammo for the tow just in case it's needed. Any other questions? Are you first Any thermal bomb or second thermal bomber? I like to think first thermal bomb. Any intelligence on what type of uh, vehicles they may procure today? I I don't know. I would expect uh, several IFVs, infantry fighting vehicles, possibly tracked, possibly wheeled, who knows. Um, probably a myriad of other lighter vehicles, such as BRDMs, uh, potentially some BTRs. Um, yeah, and it's certainly they'll have other off-map support, so expect artillery for sure. Expect them to have artillery, so don't 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 uh, bunch up, scatter, stay spread out, but make sure you're watching your areas. And uh, we've got already bunkers around here. We'll have set up for you guys as well. So one last question, and we got to keep building. What are our target priorities for uh, our heavy assets or heavy ET? I mean, if it's tracked, that goes first. If it's wheeled and has a big gun, that goes next. If it's just wheeled entirely. That's oh, your third priority. Everything else is, you know, lower. So BMPs for sure. Th take those. Uh, if it's a 30 mic BTR, let's try to take that as well. And then any other BTR scout car just falls out after those. Uh, what a spandrel would be high priority as well. Um, not necessarily, just because we only have two lighter Vicks, so I'm not con entirely concerned of a uh, spandrel. All right, let's. And the span uh, not effective against infantry, so yeah, let's get, get some let's get ready so we can go build some. More. Yeah, each one of you get a lodgy, and then we can have like ammo in our respected area. And the motorized, which is one I'm SL, two FDLs, two ARs, two lats, and anything. one medic, four hats, two mini machine guns, uh, two engineers, uh, one ATGM soldier, one APC, head. and four mm -hmm. lodgies. Or they could have put two BDRMs, the and they can build a fob with. Two HMG bunkers Sorry. and two Cornets, various defensive structures. They'll get two tactical support missions and four strategic okay. support oh, okay. missions. All right. Yeah, this could be interesting. We underestimate how difficult it would be to discern what loadouts the uh, teams will be using per session. <laughs> it is going to be uh, interesting. And I hope this is going to be a fun op for you to watch too, Battle Edition. It's uh, not just today though. This is this going to carry on at least for the next four, three days actually if we're not counting today. Where are these two? Where are they going? Probably back to Maine. Hmm. Alright, I'll, I'll be sure I mean, yeah. It's gonna be set up kind of defense. Did the US pull out any uh vehicles? Um I see a bunch of lodges, but I do not see any uh, No armor or nothing like no that. No armor. But if they're on, oh, if they're defending, they should have. Maybe they're just holding on to it because of the campaign. Possibly, Try and yeah. use as little as they can unless they really need it. One more that could come back to hurt them, though. Hey, hey. I would look after yourself before you attempt to get in the, uh, in any ops. But, uh, hopefully you do get in tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, if, you're, if your leg is cut, go see a doctor. Oh, and Spirit's right. I did hear that they, they uh, said they were going to pull a tow M wrap. Sweet. Which is probably why that team went back to Maine. 
No, they didn't go back to Maine. They went... What are they doing out there? Oh, you know what? I wonder if they are setting up counter routing. Yep. Yep. They've got the eight. I think that's the ATGM. That's the uh, mobile coronet or toe, right? Yes. Uh, I've got squad four for the U.S. side roam, rummaging around the southern side of their position with their uh, ATGM on a hill. Probably going to attempt to catch anyone coming around their side or off the point defense. Yeah, it looks like a majority of the Russian side is going to be pushing from the northwest. There is one Lodgy way up in the north that's moving towards the east. Might be going down the main MSR. We have one that's scoped. Are we just not allowed to use that emplacement because it's got a scope on it? I'm sorry. Troop transport, not Lodgy. We have an unscoped one. There was one with an ACOG. Unscoped, that's not working. We're looking at... How the hell do I place one then? It's the MT it. specifically. Nice. And we see a dwarf pacing back and forth as things start setting up around him. You ready, Black GoPro? What? You ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> Everyone ask your soldiers if they're ready to die for President Barack Obama. Let's back yeah, up, see uh, if you can get in. Easy. Not my president. Mr. Obama, I just want to say I loved you and I am legend. Now we could get in troubles for some political talk here. Someone's gonna uh -oh. someone's gonna get a mouthful at the end of this. <laughs> U.S. seems to be hunkering down in their positions now. Yeah, well. With a little bit of building still going on. I don't on. know why I couldn't get my rifle. Mixed reviews. I don't know what the hell wrong with it. It looks like the U.S. forces are still a good 900 meters out. And up there's in that, the northwest. Yeah, and there's that toe MRAP with Daniels in it. Where's Bartok at when you need him? Bartok's on your side. I know. Command, be advised, we have very good eyes out covering the entire east flank. We are seeing nothing. Expect a heavy Russian push from the west. <sighs> yeah, it's taken them a while, so that's probably what's going to happen. U.S. soldiers to the south have taken the ridge line so they can see down into the uh, fielded area for any vehicle movement coming in, coming in. possibly also to catch line. any troop movement. I don't think in particular. the Russians are going to come in that direction, back. though. Copy. So. Yeah, you just want to be safe that, you know, your, oh, yeah. your most southern position, Russian, yeah, southern position is uh, okay. covered. Nothing like getting a flank up this field, up this map, up this uh, hill. Right. Yeah, I mean, so, Purple Kurgi, so the objective, back. other than kill, That's is... um. They must take this position, this fortified area from the U.S. forces, and then kill everyone. I don't know. They might actually change that up. If they can, if they can take the point without actually killing everyone, that might, for this, uh, sub uh wow, might, uh, wow, my mind just not doing me today. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta take the, uh, Point of interest that they're at and uh janky cheese just to give you a, a little information in order to sign up and or get into this event and the event server you got to take the uh the sot basic you can find that by uh creating an account 
on the website, honest, website squadops.gg, no, and then link it on our Discord, discord.gg uh, slash squadops, yeah, and then it's keep it's watching so the calendar better. on the website for a SOP basic. Is it? Once you get that SOP basic, you can Where's sign up for these campaigns, one, operations, and Mars events that we hold. 51. Clay, can you see 51? You're talking in Vort local. I think it really adds an element of you know how you're going to move and position your vehicles knowing that you lose them for the rest of the campaign and you only get so many of them oh yeah but if you don't use enough of them you're going to end up wasting them because you only have a maximum amount you can use even to the end point exactly yep but depending on how uh everyone takes this and, uh, campaign there's gonna be a lot more i mean we can go up to i think uh okay. 20 events for this oh, Should we need to we're gonna have to five we have guys in the Juliet 9 20 20 sessions Kilo 20 rounds oh, I see it. all right it looks like the russian forces have been spotted one, by one, the u.s forces right sent a small element out along the Western road from the defensive point. So the Russians oh. have been, they have lost their, their uh, surprise if they were even attempting. It doesn't look like they really were. Yeah, the entire, almost the entire platoon is moving up that way. They only have one squad out on the east side and that is it. Everyone else is coming from the west. Well, seeing the upside spirits to the campaign is we're going to try, at least they are going to try to keep the uh, commands the same throughout the entire campaign. Uh, so that usually will help with using what they know they have. So if they realize that they need to start using some vehicles or they're going to start losing more points, They'll start using them, but it depends. It's completely dependent on on uh, who's running what. And right now, you're just starting. You don't want to just toss as much as you can at the beginning. Try to do what you can yeah. with what you've got, and then if it doesn't work the first time, the next point that you're defending or attacking, use a little bit more vehicle. It's got to be strategic with it. Yeah, it looks like the Russians are being smart with their trans trucks. They've actually dropped them off at friendly locate, friendly POIs so that they don't lose them. I really don't have good eyes to the south right. Uh, so each round is road, pretty much, it's going to be the same as a normal op. Yeah, We're just, it's in a campaign a style, so it's, the progression road. is going to carry over to the next Come. session. So it's, you, it, you, you can, can look at each session as just a one life op. It's just the only difference is it's not just for that day. It's for tomorrow's first session, second session, and then the day after that. Copy that. How far? I think we go to what Monday. Yeah, all the way to Monday. We'll have one tonight that we're doing now. We'll have two tomorrow, one on Sunday, and then one on Monday. Because we don't have any assets in there. Yeah, that's right. Bar talk about to get a face full of Russians. Yeah. Is not pulling back. Unless they went with airborne assault, in which case, oh, we would have seen or heard helicopter. I have, I have Phoenix. And we've got the U.S. command trying to guess what the uh, Russian loadout is, what they went with. Everyone's thinking possible airborne. I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's going to be, uh, airborne. I'm not sure about that, Spirits. I'll have to check the doc, um, yeah, it's, later. Uh, it's definitely, uh, 60 minutes, and whoever controls the that point of interest has the upper hand on that point of interest is the one that... That Kilo wins. Nine. Yeah. So you, we only have sixty minutes to do this. Yeah, you can you can tell that I uh did not read the doc in depth enough. Albeit, I also did lose 
an entire day to sleep, so. That's correct. That did help uh, my case. What's sleep? <laughs> it's that thing that happens when you don't go to sleep for like uh, two days in a row. I'm gonna try that. Let's <laughs> see what happens. I, don't, I wouldn't suggest it. It sucks. It feels horrible when you miss an entire day. Oh yeah, I can I can imagine just missing a day and just feeling like ah I didn't, I didn't do anything. Ooh, I guess now would be a good chance to relink the op doc for those that are just now tuning in so they can get themselves sorted away with what's going on. It looks like the US and Russian forces are already trading shots. Yeah, it looks like uh, Chicken, Money Man, Gunny the Medic, and uh, Revy caught uh, their uh, caught their raft uh, real quick. One of your fire teams a little further west. Yeah, but the Russians are south. doing a nice little uh, line going north to get south to get this push in. U.S. forces peeling back. Sadly, they lost one of their own, so that's one less U.S. force. Or U.S. Uh, infantry man to guard the point. Yeah, same. Russians lost one also, it looks like. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just... Mm -mm. It's a horrible feeling when you lose time. Oriented north, okay, go prone right at my feet, orient north. Yeah, we're fine up probably a squad over here. Copy. You can handle a squad. What kind of armor? They heard audio on armor. Uh, stand by, I'll try to see if they know uh, what sound it Do was. we have any armor anywhere from the Russians? Uh, the BTR is moving up slowly on that east side. Uh, they're not... They're not using it in play just so yet. Want, still want me shipping over yeah, especially to help, or should I <laughs> because they know someone's on the yeah, other team. If you can put them in the east side of Novo, the very yeah. eastern edge of Novo, but that's about it. Ooh. They've Angels lost... over here on. Audio-wise, they've been spotted, it's too, it's but visually, they have not yet. Field, probably BTR. Okay, yeah, Walmart. over here on the eastern eastern front, uh, Ethel's moving in between two squads of. U.S. forces. Ooh. Yeah, and that's... If they are spotted by that ridge force, they're, that's almost probably going to be a game over for them. Um, yep. Because they've got a uh, ATGM up there. But I think they're just deep enough down there that it's not really going to cause much of an issue. Yeah, there's too many trees between them and the top. And you and I both know what happens with trees. Oh, yeah. Grenades bounce back. Bombs go off where they shouldn't. They have 60 minutes, right? Yes, we are. Um, are our uh, mod dev team is working feverishly to uh, get the modded server back up and running, but not much they can do if the uh, SDK doesn't want to work with them. Yeah, OWI goofed on that one. They seem to be probing. They may be shifting down south. Be advised, Silas. Say again, Boogie. They're shifting down. You have guys shifting. They, they may be. Pr they probed us. They may be shifting south. I don't have any eyes north. All right. I'll have my guys watch that south part of the road there. If you can keep your guys watching the north half. We'll do. 
Now this could be bad. But it's FT. Oh, it's nice to have the underslung. Uh, oh, hey, there's, there's our other MRAP. Uh, I gotta go AFK for like uh, five minutes. Great. I will be right back. Shug will be in charge of my squad. As far as I can tell, the U.S. forces still have not spotted that uh, Russian force encroaching from the east. And... We've still got a st staring match over here with the three-man U.S. Uh, the team and the entire Russian force. It's kind of stalemated. Juliet nine one one two times F. So they only got two M wraps right now, just the fifty in the toe. Yep. Let's see here. Yes, on the map, I've got one tow MRAP and one 50 MRAP. And a bunch of Logies. Juliet 976 as well. Which I Juliet think are one time use, aren't they? They load Juliet them up with what they want, and. Yep. That's it. No, no, yeah. uh. Well, as long as they don't lose them. Yeah. Hey, do any of my FTLs have iron sight? I'm only seeing one Lodgy. We've got on the fire map. from the U.S. side. I think Nuclear Potato may have seen one of the Russians. How he did, I have no clue. All right, I'm back. All right. Possibly Sasa. Time is burning away. We are almost 20 minutes into the operation. Doesn't feel like it's been that long. Did I just get the time wrong? Uh, it's been about 20 minutes. Hey, okay. Up. You got contacts on the south side of the road, Juliet 1072. These landmines out here by Digit? Uh, that is a good question. I think so. <laughs> oh, those are anti-personnel. Yes, <laughs> they are. In between two of them. <laughs> oh, no. If he stands yeah. up, he's done. I didn't see that. I think, uh, oh, who was out here? I think that was Phoenix. Phoenix laid him down. They weren't there before. I mean, he's laying directly in between two of them. Oh, no. <laughs> and there are a lot of Russians just walking towards him. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that hurts me. That is... I'm not sure if that's legal placement. I mean, it's not under the ground, so yeah, it oh, is. Oh, that's legal. Yeah, yeah that is legal. legal. I don't think you can bury them. Or if that is, that that's them buried. That's... Ooh, that is uh. Ow. Oh, he got up. Can oh. he crouch by him, or do you have? I to think be you can. I think you have to be How very close to him. I've lost two guys so far, uh, both on the western flank there, so I'm covering. Oh, uh, and he's saying, "Watch out for AP Where, mines." What's your kill on uh, commands calling him out. Oh no! Digit. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kills, you're worthless. It's right there, oh, and he's right here. Okay. Digit, don't move. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh my God, he locked out. Oh. But I don't think anyone else on his team is. Nope. And it looks like Matt Bob is walking towards one, and so is Razor. Oh no. Oh? How did they not go oh? off? What? Salted Potato just ran right over top of one. I'm wondering if they're bugged. Might be bugged. Here comes oh. a rather Scottish chap. Scottish no, chap. Yeah. Just oh. oh, there it is. And didn't take and... him out. And he ran over the, on the other one. <laughs> I think they're using Scottish chap as uh, anti-mine. 
<laughs> He's the test. Uh, Boogie, I have a question for you. I wonder if they have a delay. Someone has to be on them for a certain amount of time before it'll actually yeah, go off. Yeah, it might be, yeah. Scottish got off pretty easy there. I wonder if, uh... Yeah. I wonder if Pony dampened the damage that the mines do. Uh, no, the reason they weren't using them. And now they're calling for people to space out even more just in case they run into one of these mines. Lost eyes. He was he was up from our right moving left. His eyes were kind of left too. Yeah, it works. Go, just yeah. if you go prone, uh, you can dig them. You can dig them up, but you got to spot them. That's the hard part is spotting them. Yeah, I see. Especially when they're in in uh, grass, like reed type grass, they look exactly like them. This might not be a good position for salty potato to s or not salty, uh, nuclear potato. We have too many potatoes on the team. One too many. One too many. And it looks like Aethel's pushing up this hill towards, uh, this Russian squad four. Or, I'm sorry, U.S. squad four. Oh, yeah. I don't think they spotted them, but they no, they have by knocking it. Uh, so that trench is exposed right now. No, that was pretty much it. I just think they're going to start feeding more people into the Northwest, but they're starting one at a time. And here comes the Russian forces pushing up along the Western Road straight into the point. Moving slow, though. The they do a have a U.S. force off to their uh, south. south. And Juliet 10? Northeast of Phoenix. Northeast of Phoenix. Juliet 10, 8-1. Copy. Your fit, you should be able to light it up. We found Bartok. Is Bartok so running a ladder at hat again? today? I missed it. It's Julian he Hinkley. is. Someone's gonna get blown what up. What is it? BTR. If he survives. Right, I got a toe on he just said his now. name. I've said a lot of people's names. I can say some more. Uh, Matt Bob, Digit, Riser, Rubble Pelican, <laughs> Cassings. Let's see here, Tacos. Uh, Just naming the whole <laughs> yeah, Russian pretty side. much. Yeah, we're sitting, uh, I would it's say around 30, 35 minutes left. Yep. This first round could go by without anything really happening. Raggy opening up on his, uh... I don't really know what who. Hey, you got someone some down fire. here. Yeah, chill, chill. At least I think you really? did. Hey, Dorf, I'm gonna send up oh, my. Uh, didn't get anybody. Give him a little. Up around scary. to Kilo 11, see if they can set up a little ambush to help out the other squads. Look at the base of that yellow bush. 290. Get our toe set up somewhere. Somebody in there. No. Silent might be slightly right. unlucky. Bug. Got it. You know, you might want to set it up in Juliet 11. I can count the pixels. Yeah, right now I'm actually having a got pixel hunters over here at a distance. To set it up on. Nuclear potato and Soviet piggy opening up on the lower forces of the Russians to the south northwest. I'd say southwest, that's in the wrong direction. Ooh. Looks like they took down one Russian. Can Salami Dagger get away? Looks like you'll get away with a clean scrape. Silas, he thinks Juliet 10 
but this might not be good. Uh, looks like the Russian forces are coming around behind them. Hopefully Hobus sees them. Hobus taking shots from the Russian forces to his west. And down goes Hobus. Yeah, it seems like the Russians are going to start calling in smoke here in a couple of minutes uh, just to get their initial push started. Yeah, it looks like Nuclear Potato and Soviet Piggy are pulling off of their second. No, they're going back. Boogie, your head died. That's not good. And... False call out and command comms about the hat dying. Uh, BTR is in play now. They're starting to fire in towards that uh, he just got yeah, machine he just, gun position. Just got Shadow Knight just got slaughtered by a heavy bullet. Came through the uh, sandbag porthole and just pegged him. Scared Boogie. Oh, man. What's that Russian force doing over here to the east? Still trying to make their way up the hill? Uh, looks... Looks like they're kind of paused right now. Yeah, I mean, it looks like the... Oh? Oh, I thought I heard a tow shot go off. No. They lost, uh, U.S. lost their lot. And that'll be fine. Maybe. Though, so we can't roll up safely on this guy. Don't, yeah, don't, don't roll up on hey, you never know. Uh, Coming around uh, Sunday, that might be important. Ooh, yeah. How or many lodges? I forget. How many lodges do the uh, Americans have? 20? Oh, that's 19 now. Ooh. Mortars in. That was a widespread mortar shot, too. Down goes Dorf. Dorf is gone. Command for the U.S. forces is dead. Oh, I'm sorry. No, they get 24 lodges and 20 trans trucks. Ooh, what is going on with the frame rates? That is... Yeah, I just noticed that, too. Does it happen on your end, too? Everyone's... They're, they're talking about it in comms now. Oh, this is bad. Is that... No, oh, the server's fine. The server health is good, yeah. I just need too enough. many explosions. Might be the mortars. That is a lot of mortar explosions. Yeah, I'll agree. You know what it is? Uh, I see what it is. It's the sandbags. They're just flying all over the place. Oh, that's right. Oh, that is bad. That was a lot of sandbags just went up and... Oh. Uh, or no, I think it's the just, mortar yeah, explosions yeah. that are actually doing it, because every time uh, they come down, that's when I get the stutter. All right, there we go. The frame rates come back. Over for three strength count down to four. I have a two-man team northwest of the intersection, as well as a hunter-killer team made up of myself and Bartok pushing in on the side of the we have armor. Contacts. We have contacts at Kilo 10 7. Uh, we have. Oh, uh, more mortars. Nope, Snoke. Yep, smoke for the push. Yeah, and we had heavy, right, some more guys. not really heavy, a pretty good casual count for that, uh, that mortar strike. Yeah, they got six total right now for the Russian forces and three for the U.S. Mm. I'll be advised, guys, I got my co uh, ATG soldier watching the crossroad, so if they... Russian force is making an appropriate push straight through for the uh, point from the west. Yeah, including the BTR pushing up even closer now. Oh, yeah. Still got um, a good sized force from Phoenix just sitting off in the western side. Can you pull your guys I'm I'm looking. Russian forces getting in close for their combat. Combat. No, purple corgi. So that's just for this this uh, round. They'll be back.
That would be kind of OP if we could just kill off the SLs and the uh, commands right at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. PTR is taking down some sandbags. I think he took out a nuclear potato. Correct. Yes, he did. Nuclear potato is gone. That leaves Soviet Piggy all on his own over there. And we have enemies far in the southeast. Was the radio dug down or blown up? Blown up. Everything's been blown up. Copy. And U.S. forces right, trying to estimate what went east. wrong with the uh, uh, the mortars. Uh, it looks like our radio actually was blown up. Ooh, pinpoint accuracy. Someone called in close. Not a good. Not a big spread. Down to strength count three. One times AR still defending the intersection. Myself and Bartok are a hunter killer team hunting down enemy armor to my northeast. I'll copy. Solid copy. Phoenix is attempting to hunt down the BTR. I'm down to three effective tow gunner myself, and then one guy out on the southwest the intersection. And Silas just took so much heat. He's only got him and his tow, uh, tow MRAP and then Soviet Piggy down here. It's all that's left of his team. BTR hit once. And it looks like the BTR was pounded. Hey, still got squad four from the Russian side pushing up on the uh, southeast. All right. They've still got heavy U.S. forces in that direction. Copy that. Enemies on the blown up YG as well. Copy. Two, pull all your assets to the uh, west. Uh, pull Wayne back. We're watching. We got the southeast. The contacts are to my southeast in Lima 11 right now. Be advised, my entire element is going to be dedicated to stopping the southeast push. Uh, need one and two to... Focus on defending to the northwest. This might not end well for Piggy. I hope he doesn't try yeah, and cross the, the road. I'm pulling all my guys in. Another Lodgy down for the U.S. side. That makes it 18, and Soviet Piggy down by Komodo. Or Kodo, not Komodo. Oh. Squad 4 is starting to lose some people down here. Down goes Zaki and one other. Three. Okay, no, I think they just That's from Aethel yeah. Squad. Oh, yeah. Copy, yeah, they're the not close west. Uh, Aethel's down to five. Where? Yeah, they got another like up the road. open I'm field to cross. Toe, I think. Maybe southwest. I think Shug's going to catch him. Down. I think the issue with that that uh, Russian force push is just they've got too many U.S. forces spread around them. The di but if the Russian forces from the west keep pushing in, they might end up pulling those U.S. forces away from them. It is not looking good for the U.S. side though. This point may be lost. Turn right. Oh, he sees him. All we've oh, got left doesn't. is Evan. Evan left on Dude, on the point. Anyway. Uh, he's got no one within range to support him, except for Silas off to his south. And they're mortaring the point again. A grenade from Shug gets frost with a grenade. Down goes Aethel. All that's left of his squad is Thin Bones and uh, Deer. Does anyone have any hat or light assets up? I might go down. The mortars are bad. I think I have a couple. I have a hat. ETR is still up, too. Sugarheart tossing a red smoke down trying to obscure the view of Thin Bones and RJ. Thin Bones trying to get him with either a GL or a grenade. 
Next shield. Copy that. Come. You know, we're we're fucked up here. Hey, right, south be advised, no billowing to the west of you. Russian force is pushing in with little really resistance way, from the west. Phoenix, I think, is still trying to hunt down BTRs. It's going to have a little issue doing that, though, because the BTR is now within the Russian line. Three. And it, it's on, but pretty it's close, but he can still get somewhere dying. behind him. Copy, don't worry about it. And we got more smokes coming in for the Russian forces. Leave it to silent to push the Russians right into the U.S. forces. Unaware, unexpecting this. Close. Unexpect, not expecting this. On my west <sighs> or north? I need sleep. I think straight west. Again? Too, Again. <laughs> I'm I'm I don't think deer and uh thin bones are gonna make it out of this little tree hedge that they're Nah, they're already damaged. How many bandages have they used so far? Probably two. US forces painting them with smoke some uh, very patriotic colors. Some position. white smoke, red smoke, and blue smoke. <laughs> Yeah, but the the good thing is kill counts even. We only got fifteen for the Russians and fourteen for the U.S. Doesn't look that way when you're looking at yeah, where the doesn't. U.S. forces are supposed to be guarding. And the U.S. or the Russian forces are pushing again onto the point, trying to find anyone left. You've got Evan and Bark on the cliff for the rocks. They the got rated Vulcan rated. Yep, they're coming Ooh. up. And Phoenix goes down trying to uh, hunt Fulcrum. that BTR. It's going to get Evan. Oh, and Evan survives, but he is bleeding out. Evan goes down. That leaves rated red and bark. And oh, 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 Bark and Rated Red take each other out. No one wins yeah, that fight. There. They might be watching it with the BTR. Uh, if he goes far enough east, it should be downhill. He should be uh, safe to move. Do we now to keep a note, an the U.S. forces the still BTR. have their MRAPs up. Or at least one of them. Uh, update on the context of the southeast. I think we took out the majority of the squad, but we probably And it is the 50 cal, so that's that's bit. pretty MVP good against infantry. Sounds like it's coming up the west somewhere. Oh yeah. Yep, he is. Maybe they might pull it back to a friendly POI and on then foot. uh back no, from they fucking don't. on foot. Nope, they're gonna position it for the road for anyone trying to cross the road. Twenty minutes are, remain before this point is radio, lost to the Russians at this point. I don't know what the doc says, but okie doke. That's where the radio was put on Novo Ridge. Alright, well, we have to find a way to take out that fucking BTR because it's just watching this road, so we can't cross north. So it's Wayne, approximate of that BTR. Yeah, it's where is northwest. the Russian BTR? Uh, oh fuck, it's like Kilo 10 7. It is down, to, or I should say up north. Oh, Ooh, it was. Who hit that? Who was that? That was the. Oh no. That was the M wrap. That was the uh, tow wrap. Oh, the tow M wrap. Uh, yeah. He, I'm pretty sure it was. He that M wrap out and oh, no. then started shooting at an infantry person. No, I take that back. It's not because no one's in the tow M wrap. I think that was Block no. on his uh oh, yeah. toe. ATGM? Yep, ATGM. Ah. I don't know if that BTR is down or not. Good shot. Enemy east of 2, 100 meters north yeah. moving to your uh, location. definitely was from Block up yeah. here with Hedda. Oh yeah. Toe MRAP is still in play. It's just sitting there. I got contact northwest on 
I don't think it has anyone to crew it though. Ah. I'm gonna agree there, and that is Block has done the U.S. proud. Took out a BTR. That's not to say the media is uh, rooting for one side or the other. Oh, no favoritism on Memorial Day weekend. Oh. The shots from Tinkerbell would be good if they uh, weren't impacting the hill right in front of him. Ah, uh, bad suppression. Sir, go for two. You have infantry behind you, moving north. Or they're flying back to the east or something, but there's infantry somewhere to your uh, south. Southeast. South or southeast. Okay, copy. I don't see how the U.S. forces can pull back from this. I think they got the POI. I think the U.S. have got to keep going and defend it. Got a few outliers, and that's about it. I'm going to pull my forces back to the uh, west, and we're going to fly to the uh, north. Okay, I'm approximating between 10 and 8 enemies left. And they're, that's just counting the northeastern quadrant. Silas making approximation okay, there's 10 to 8 Russian forces left. I think he might need to adjust yeah. his count a bit. <laughs> yep, considering he only got 11 U.S. left. Ooh. Let's see here. How many Russian forces are actually left up? I'm looking 16. at possibly, yeah, that was about it. What on earth is Cassings doing? Cassings just crossed a road right next to Sugarheart. Uh, how did he get away with that? I don't know. Let me know we're ready to turn that gun on the base. Copy that. I'm positioning myself out here on the flank, so I'm trying to regroup. Well, is that a hit on the MRAP? Nope, hit a tree. Branches, both oh. your friend and your enemy. See, so there they're trying to take out Wayne Newton, who is currently bush wooking against the uh, Russian forces over here. Took down Money Man. Tossed a grenade. Is he gonna get anyone with it? No, but he did damage two of them, chicken and gunny. Definitely one enemy around the IDF shelter on point. And it looks like we just lost Silas. Or my bad, not Silas, Sugarheart. So that's another command down for the U.S. side. I hit that AR that was or, I guess, up. placement command, as he wasn't the original one for that team. Hey, shoot down. Tank is taking over. We are still flanking. Yeah, Silence still up. Now they're just taking pot West shots side? at Tinkerbell, oh, trying to knock him out of that gunner position. Yeah. But I think Three they forget West. that uh, it's so changed point. now. Yeah, they're the, the ammo or the armor is a little bit higher up in the model, so they got to aim at the head exactly. You almost got to be on top of it. Who knows? So I might get that lucky one shot. Wayne Newton is taking some fire. Yes, he is. Yeah, there they are. He's got uh, thin bones and RJ coming up on him. From the rear. Those two survived. Wow, how did they get all the way down here? Oh. The U.S. forces pulled off of them. Oh, no. And the MRAP's coming straight towards them. Oh, don't put yourself out in the open. Wait, are either one of these a lat? 
Or a hat? No, neither one is. One's a GL. You put a GL on top of that, you take them out. Maybe. Uh, currently, right now, it is the Russians are winning. Up oh, down goes the gunner. Now Guardian's driving it around. And they're at this trying point, to shoot them. Yeah, at this point, uh, if I was in Guardian's position, I'd be pulling that MRAP out of there. Somehow to oh, get yeah. <laughs> keep get that for out. the next round. Yeah, and hope the tires don't get popped. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, I thought he was gonna drive. Oh, he is gonna drive it right into everyone else. No. Hey, no, he's on the. Oh, he's on the downslope of the berm. Yeah, they can't see him, but they know he's he there. He's gonna try to gun. Oh, no, no, don't do that. I mean, you can die in it as long as it doesn't get taken down. You still get it. Yeah, but he's the driver. At this point, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> If he goes down, they can recover the vehicle. Oh, that's right. Oh, he got into the gunner seat. Yeah, they can steal the vehicles and make it part of their own. I think they'll probably get an extra scout car for that. Uh, yeah, 10 or so more minutes and this round will be over. Probably five, to be frank. It's been almost 20 minutes since the 20 minute uh, warning went out. Yep, Guardians got up into the gunner seat. I don't think he's going to see much unless someone pops their head, like, on his road. So I think he's yeah. going yeah, he, to move the, it back. Four, we're still trying to flank from the west. Copy. How many effective are you? Five effective. This is not looking good for the U.S. forces. It's like 11 minutes left. Guardian pulling out with the MRAP. Good, good. Save it for another day. Well, this isn't a friendly POI, so they're actually going to, if they can't win this, they'll lose both of them. Oh, yeah. Doesn't look like Guardian's stopping. He's just trying to get somewhere where he can just gun it straight to the next POI. Silas down, taken out by Gunny, either Gunny or uh, Salami. Yeah, it looks like uh, Guardian took that MRAP down to a friendly POI along with another uh, Logi truck. Ten minutes remaining in the round. I think it's safe to say the U.S. have lost this POI. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that they probably did. Nice. Mm -hmm. Camera does not belong under the map. Uh, this is what? Northeast? Going right. Petrifka, or is this northwest? Copy. This is northwest go, Petrifka, I think. We gotta push it. Yep, getting covered. Let's, uh... If I could pull up the map, that'd be fantastic.
Oh, down goes Frenzy. Nice try. So does Atomic. Leave Seneca. Seneca all on his own. His westward flank didn't quite pan out. Seneca, it's you and me. Oh, he still got block. Oh. Down goes Seneca. Guardians made it back in on foot, crossing all the way down the road. I'm surprised no one saw him like thin, bo thin bones and deer. Yeah. Well, I don't think they have anything that they can take it down with. They might have a, a ladder a hat on them, but at that range, that's uh, that's asking a bit much. Because U.S. only has three. Yeah. Just Block, Guardian, and... Uh, Hedda. Hedda. At this point, I think we're, everyone's just kind of waiting for that timer to go off. Well, the Russian forces probably definitely are because they know they got the upper hand. Block's going to try to cross the road. Well, he made it. Downside is he alerted the Russian forces. Oddball. Oh, He's yeah, they some, called him out. Yeah, taking some pot shots at him. Oh, but he doesn't see Salty Potato. Salty Potato didn't see him. Flicker right there on the hill. I think Block saw him. Nice. One. He's got Salty Toast to his... Oh, this is not going to end. Down goes Hedda. And block shot down by Salty Toast. So that leaves no one. I don't think there. Yep, there it is. Hey, good job, yeah, everyone. there it is. All right, so that's really round well one planned. of session well, one. And there's not going to be any roll, so everyone's going to stay on the same team. Um. We will see when everyone comes back in. All right, and we're back once more uh, with round two of session one for, uh, wow, my mind is just not doing me today. Spring breaker, uh, breakout, wow. Um, so, the U.S. forces lost their POI at the beginning, and now we're going to be following the Russians as they push in to the uh, U.S. line. How, uh, how did you like the first round, Wilbur? I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, I think they, I think they spread out just a little bit too much, um, but... At the same time, they didn't know where anybody was coming. I, I, I don't know how. I mean, Silent just put all of his people in the right position and kind of just snuck up. And a lot of the contact was within, you know, 100 meters. I mean, he really snuck his whole platoon up right on top of the, right on top of the U.S. forces. So, uh, yeah, Silent definitely knocked it out of the park on an attack. Almost definitely. And going over the commands once more, um, nothing's really changed on that. It's still going to be command for the U.S. side. It's going to be Dorf with his 2IC being Silas and his 3SLs being Boogie, Alpha Guido, and Evan SMA. And for the Russian side, it's going to be Silent once more with his 2IC being Erasure and his 3SLs being Oddball, Aethel, and Revy. Um... And that's pretty much going to hold us until they start their briefings. Yeah, and uh, the Russians are down one BTR-80. And the U.S. are, I believe, are down one toe MRAP, or MT, at Matt V. And they are down, I think, three Lodgies. We're going to have to double check with that after this session is over. But I think that's the count that I got. Yeah, it was two Lodgies. And no, did did the uh one of the MRAPs get 
Matt Bees get uh, blown up? The, well, no, because they left it and they lost the point. They lose it. <sighs> that's right. That's right. Scottish, Scottish. One you got uh, striker and one Matt B and no lodges. Side. Let's move. Um, Stay on the left side of all right, free to maneuver. Oh, and Stay it looks like the Russian forces are moving out. I yep. didn't see any briefing, so... Well, maybe Here they're we going to brief at their point. <laughs> I don't know. A <laughs> brief along the way. Yeah. are coming this way. We'll see how this is if we need to divert and use the I mean, this river, point, West Mogi, for the U.S. is, I think it's going to be beneficial because they're up high and looking not, towards the cool north. They're going to the see the them we can use the coming out if they definitely again. follow that river. That's probably not going to happen. Screenshot. Damn it, you talk. Raise your stock. And it looks like the, oh shoot, I can't remember what those are called. Nope, I can't remember what that's called. <laughs> uh, vehicles and me don't get along. Um, armored vehicle is moving along with the troop carrier. To the, if the marker is correct, they're gonna be going to the East of West Mogi. Basically to the point where uh, the Russians just took from the U.S. side. Is where the armor looks to ah, be going. I don't know this map well and then you've got, I think, two or three squads. Two squads. Eh, a a squad and a half, maybe. Um, rolling along the map border. To the west. Wait, who's in the transport? That's a uh, MTLB. Is that an MTLB? All right. Yes. Well, at least I have someone here who can uh, identify it by look. Well, that's because I spent so much time setting up the icons for vehicles that I know <laughs> what the things look like now. Oh, before I would have been like, oh, yeah, it's a B. It's a PTR. It's not a BTR. It only it's, a B it's a BTR. It's got a gun. It's armored. <laughs> it's a BTR. It's firing tank rounds. It's a BTR. Yes. Everything Russians have, it's it's a BTR. It doesn't matter what yeah. it is. It's a BTR. Oh man. I just kind of like uh, calling out the. Um, oh, what do you call them? On the British side, the bulldogs. Oh yeah, the bulldogs. Jesus. Forever forever I thought those were the warriors and then someone was like, No, that's a bulldog. I'm like, how the hell do you tell? They're like, because the gunner's out. I'm like oh. <laughs> and we got some bad driving over here by uh I think that's Vlad driving. No, that's not Vlad driving. Yeah, that's Vlad driving, I think. No, that's Lawn Darts is driving. I am so confused on the the, uh, the name placements inside vehicles. Um, hitting trees left and right. I've got to find something to take up some uh, information in dead space while we wait for him to get in position. And watching lawn darts run into everything in the middle of a field is quite hilarious. I'll probably get in trouble for uh, teasing him. Eh, it'll be all right. Yeah, the way I figure it out is whoever's the lowest in the armor vehicles, that's the driver. I would think it would be the name that's hovering over the vehicle would be the driver. Uh, usually that ends up being the gunner. I found that out in a, in a harsh way also. Eh, we'll find out. Yeah. 
Well, I give them I give them crud for running in the trees, but you gotta also realize that they're also looking at their map and trying to figure out where they're going, and also and, coordinating. And driving, you know, the only view that they have out of that thing is like a small slit. Yeah, it's a window. tiny slit. It sucks. Let's see if I can get it on stream. Uh, oh, they don't actually have it open on this one. Both hatches are shut. Um, so their view would be where those little hatches are on the front. Um, would be open. That's their viewport. Oh, I thought the tow gunner. I thought it was a crow's. It's not. No. It's open top. Ooh. I did not know that. I thought the tow MRAP was a uh, crow's system. No, no. I don't think any of the NRAPs or Matt B's have a. Uh have a uh, crow system in it. I could be wrong. Maybe Pony mod them in. Yeah. I thought in like vanilla there were crow system. Or maybe that's just how it's modeled. It could be a it could be a, a crow system that is just modeled wrong or not wrong but depending on where it is yeah yes no right wrong who knows it's all semantic it's up to interpretation Russian force is getting quite close to the point. Not quite there yet. Still the boring trek. Boogie might be spotting that MTLB here on that near that bridge. He says he can see it. If they're going underneath the bridge, they'll be right. But if they go across on top of it, they're not going to see it. Hmm. Oh, they're calling. Boogie's calling out contact. Where's he calling? What what uh position? North. Towards where, where is he? Or he might be seeing Vol Fulcrum, but I don't think he should be able to see the armored vehicles. Our vehicle. Uh, no, they don't. They're firing in the wrong direction. Never mind. Yeah. Oh no, no, no! They're firing in the right direction. They're firing towards Squad Three. Dude, who's got pixel sight? I got Binox. Still. Make sure you don't oh, leave that uh, oddball. They're very No, they're oh, way off. Yeah. I'm watching the tracer uh, rounds. Wait, is that the BMP? I may have miscalled that one. No, we've got nothing. There's only two vehicles from the Russians right now on the map. You've got the uh, armor troop uh, transport, yeah. and you've got the uh, yeah. northeast of Mowgli. Okay. Now uh, this is this is the. Uh, wait a second. Is it the BMP? You know what? I'll look at. It. I'll figure it out later when I watch the stream and pull the thing up. Yeah. Also, cranky. No. Um, viewports can't be opened or closed. They are just right, graphical things at the right, moment. Right. I don't know if they have any plans right. on changing that. Um, but I think the texture for this model, the exterior texture, just has the viewports closed. Um, yeah, I was right. It is the MTLB. Yeah. I wasn't doubting you. Bubble, do you have I a doubted myself. To push south to, uh, exposing ourselves on your location. The first point of uh, getting something wrong is doubting your answer. Yeah, that's why I always used Abba Dabba when I was uh, taking taking quizzes in classes. <laughs> so 
somehow I graduated. Yeah, I'm still surprised I got out of high school. Oh, the second time I graduated. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> In West Mall, just I did take a house. quite a bit of trips uh, to summer school, though. So, I'm sure that helped me a bit. Thank God I never had to do summer school. Yeah, I did not envy Let's just book it straight across here, guys. I don't know if Scottish can all. hear me. It he was... probably can't, but... It was horrible. <laughs> Very boring. Shipped you off to some random school... Set you down for like three or four hours, and you got to do nothing but uh, either do catch up or attempt to, you know, learn enough to pass the final exam to get you grade up to about a C. Well, I should have just done summer school and not regular school. Nah, it sucked. Because when I had friends who were enjoying summer, I was stuck so still right going to school. So. Oh, I always had to work on during the summer. Copy, command. And differences in uh, uh, growing up. Three has been engaged by the striker near the blue building in West Mog. So that's a striker. Cop. Yes, that's what they're telling me. Ogie's got like eyes on everybody. He's calling people. He's calling out squad too. Also, man, my guys are reporting that they're moving. Uh, I think Boogie is cheating. <laughs> Boogie has got god eyes somehow. It's so hard to tell now. How far from us are they? Uh, I think it might be you guys. It's so fucking hard. Uh, he's just got Binox. That's all it is. Plus well, they took down he's Frosty. The strike. He's got the striker with a yeah, good zoom good. on it. Well, and man. he's also got Binox. And he's up on the second story. Can and he's on top of a hill. It looks fucking ridiculous. I mean, he can almost see the Russian main. Yeah, that's... Go, guys. The high ground... Oh, nope, I was wrong. Frosty did not get killed. Frosty is alive. Uh, let's see. And Company Command has just called out Squad 2 coming off the river. Yeah, they're in blatant view of, of that hilltop. Doesn't matter what they do. We got infantry. And like what, Delta 1033? Echo eleven seven two ish. West Mogi has the uh, schoolhouse in it, doesn't it? The south of you two. Say that again. Is that West Mogi that has the schoolhouse? The line on our yes. The line. Ooh. Did the U.S. forces set anything up in them? Uh, let's double check what they built up around it. Uh, they got sandbags galore, <laughs> like oh, everywhere. Uh, razor. Let's double time it up to the Well, not inside the right, schoolhouse man. itself. Oh, the radio the is, is down line. in the basement, <laughs> just like from the last stream okay. that we did. <laughs> getting glass right now. But they definitely have razor wire and sandbags directing them into the main. By 200 meters, maybe 300 meters to the south of two. More sandbags inside around the radio. Damn, this is just like Saturday night when you're mall. And sandbags in the other room also. Try and go after them. But the radio is in the exact same room that it was in that last stream. Yeah. So they do have eyes on Squad 2 pushing up on point. Oh, it's just... Exactly. And it looks like U.S. forces are shifting around. I'm not sure if they're shifting towards. It's right next to the two-story blue house. No, it's just Dorf running around. Still pounding the uh, Russian forces to the north. They really don't want to lose another point this session. No. Oh. They can't really afford to lose one. 
Well, I should say afford to lose too. I'd pull back. And if Welcome Russian back. or the U.S. forces Get right, this mortar call uh, in on squad two. In the next couple of seconds, they're gonna Echo take them all out. Coming through that little tunnel. Two, somewhere in the tree line. Could have just from our heights here. They're not gonna see us. Right, right, on point. It'd be Johnny exactly. on the spot, and they're pushing exactly. out of it fast. Yeah, the Russian forces have kind of stalled. You gotta keep in mind they have a 60 minute timer if they can't get to the point or take it over. Ooh, I did not see this. This is what you've been talking about? U.S. forces right next to the... That is... That's not good. And I don't think... We're gonna start moving down command and hope the striker doesn't incept. Ethel, can you get a mark on that striker or is that not possible? I don't think any of the Russian forces have called out. I don't have eyes anymore. There's trees behind the hidden trees. The tent's still there. That was its grid five minutes ago. I take that back. The uh, U.S. forces have been spotted by the Russians. Um, Chicken Squad alongside Money Man are aware of the U.S. forces southeast south of them. Squad three might have better luck. Our balls are further to the left. You might see it behind the trees. They see those. Uh, uh, they're the talking about like Silas. Or are they talking about up the near the POI? Um, right. they're talking about grid square E10. So anyone inside that square possibly. So that's gonna be. Okay, so that's Silas. Uh, yeah. yeah. Rounds are going off now. That's coming from the uh, squad on the other side of the river, trying to draw their view. Golf ten eight seven. I think if you put the S put down there, it should get it. Could I approve that or deny it? I don't see any mark yet. You approve it. You have to place, you place it and then you approve it. And then you wanna. Okay, available in fifteen seconds. I don't know why it denied it. Okay. Are we being engaged by an AR, Fox 1047, my limit is spot. Are we, we got to so call out cool. for an AR at Fox 1047. I don't think there's anything in that position. Fox 10, 4. Okay, I'm no, yeah, no, yeah, there is. Yeah. They're close. Yeah. Golf 10. I'm doing the little the uh, number numpad sheet to figure out reset? where the squares are. It, it's very vague. I'd, if we can get that rise, it would be okay. I don't want to waste their only rock, so you tell yeah, me. You make the call. Understood. Let me. Let's take the time. Looks like Russian sure, forces uh, squad Good. one with command is firing across the river. Oh house. yeah. Echo 10, uh, it Echo sounds 10, like they're about to use a uh, rocket on something. Wondering if they have a bead on one of the uh, U.S. armor. And the U.S. is going to call on a mortar barrage. I don't know if they're calling it on uh, silence position or one of these closer positions. Command, I'm taking my guys across the river. Yeah, it looks like Revy's pulling his squad across the river now. That puts all the Russian forces on this side of the river. Okay, so I'm hearing guys that are still running around the radio tower, Echo 1049, there's Ooh. also contacts west of it. Oh, no, no, uh, uh, liberal pundit over here. Oh, and he gets Scottish lucky. Is that a grenade or is that a, a, a uh, ranging That's a mortar? mortar. Wait, That's a ranging mortar. Here they come. Oh, that's devastating. It hasn't taken anyone out. Oh, there goes Cassings. Liberal. Liberal just holding in the middle of all these mortars. Oh, he did not get lucky, though. Liberal taken out by a mortar. 
it looks like the rest of the Russian forces will be f okay. They are not within range of the mortar drops. And surprisingly, a lack of lag. Yeah, I think it's the same bags. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, but Dorf did get three with that mortar strike. Yes, he did. You should be able to engage it. You okay, can use that whole scenario. Golf 1087, north-south fire mission. Hold fire, hold fire. We got Money Man and Chicken rolling around with his, okay. uh, with their other two trying to get okay. on this U.S. force. Engage, engage, engage. An F-10. Engage it, it's not moving, it's not Use moving. it, I'm doing it, okay. Yes, use it. I am six affected after those morning. 154. Sir, guy. Copy. Razor, I'm going to set up uh, oh, the road to north, north, south, north to south. One north to south. south. North to south. Right. Yeah, eyes on. I don't see anybody. I could go run up there. I need you to mark it one more time. Took too long. Roger, no worries. How close to the building is he? Is like he's hugging it or. Command, I've got a fire team pushing the sandbags uh, west of Golf. Golf. Ten 2 Golf. town. There goes the Russian forces. Try and push the U.S. forces away from this corner. Got that. North to south, north at eight. Let's get up as far east along this concrete wall as we can, and then we can just peek into the force. And squad two losing more men. That leaves only four people in that squad. I'm being engaged by fifty on point. We're gonna have to take of us or three. Yeah, the, the, Over here on the, the west, it looks like the Russians could end up bypassing uh, one of these U.S. forces. Position here. Trenches like the Money Man, Defendants of Squad 3 possible. We could use help on 3, though. I think the issue here is, is that a uh, bombing run coming in on... We're basically hugging a fucking ridge. Uh, oh, wow! That... Is gonna hurt. We might be able to pop smoke in our own and get out of here. Was that a direct strike on the uh Yes it was, and it took down quite a bit of people. Lima Bean, Soviet Piggy, Hovis almost took out Hedda in the uh what is that? Yeah, Silent got five with that. Oof. Once I clear that we can get smoke That was a good strike. Hedda's gonna pull off. I think he, he doesn't have a gunner, he only, he's nope. the only person now. Hopefully they got another crewman. Nice. Um, just got the Russian forces still engaging down here on the west side. Using the trench, you can get to our location and there's actually an approach that leads us directly. That is not a good choice, Airborne. Why are you running in the middle of an open field when you know there are enemies around you? Sometimes you just gotta go with it. Ooh. And uh, Evan's calling out the MTLB and try to get his toe on it. Striker still at the same spot, oddball. We're looking at six kills for the Russians and five for the we could really U.S. Use infantry here with us. We can storm this. Yeah, uh, start moving your patrol. Infantry's moving. Um, it might be time to also use our 120mm. I'll start cross walking towards He's got to be somewhere in there, so if we use that in a wide area. And to... sounds like we're about to have a 120mm uh, dropped in. Not sure where. I just think we should use that. Okay. Silent Orders. asking whether or not they should use it or not. I think we should wait until we get closer. I don't know what 1 and 2 situation is, but... Oddball advising not to. Infantry in this little farm pit yeah, wait for the wait until you get a little closer and then okay. uh, fire it off. I want to see fireworks though. <laughs> I we love nice explosions. Is probably a good thing I'm not licensed to uh, as a demo person, and that would probably be a bad idea. Me and fire. <laughs> And explosives. I can give you small yeah. mortars if you need. I can give you That's all I can do from here. Boom, boom. Uh, I'm good out here. My neighbors would hate me. I'm gonna try and clear these contacts and push them with the two. 
When we go live? Like 7.33? I think a little less than that. I think it was like 7.30. We have approximation of 35 minutes left in the operation. Okay. We started at 7:34. Is uh, ponies? So we have almost 40 minutes. Left. Letting silent know. Uh, you have 30. You have 34 minutes Oops, left sorry. because we're almost down to 7:04. I can't count. I'm not good at the math. Uh, so 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 sweet. Uh, silent. A lot of us so, aren't so. good at the maths. <laughs> yeah, Airborne's made it across that field and he's pushing close into the U.S. We're going to engage with the M2B, we see infantry. And it looks like the Russian forces are about to start pushing from the north heavy. Let's go and check that out. It's kind of slow and stale over here watching uh, Chicken and Airborne try and push this small U.S. squad. We'll probably be back over there in a minute anyways. Where's your situation in Brutal? Uh, we are currently moving to the trenches we were previously being engaged for. It is improving, but it's not great. I think, I think Ready, I many recognize, got? I got an AR in the sure. trench to myself. Looks like the Russians are losing more forces trying to get on the point from here than they uh, to help really to? should be. Is that even possible with the sight lines Mogi has? Yeah, I, I'll definitely agree with that. Or, uh, it's like a attrition right now. I can drop small mortars there, Revy, but that's all really we can give you right now. Two's going to have to help. We can they'll probably push them off. Give you some breathing room. I can try and break contact, but we gotta like push on the town quick and all like all the yeah, We're coming in on their flank. Keep them like yeah. Try and give us some mortar position, Rev, if you can. Doesn't look like the Russian police. side over here is having much luck at pushing the U.S. forces okay. out of it. Moving news. Yeah, I've kind I of hardened up like around this little mortars, let me know. house outcropping. As slow as the Russian right forces are um, going, I have a feeling that they might not yeah, be able to do this one. No, definitely not. No, no, no. They are definitely struggling to get up into the into the uh, town. And Evan takes a shot at that MTLB. Good strength, keep calm. Yeah, I just heard that over the command comms. And it sounds like it missed. Enemy MRAP tow, India 10, 7, approximate, maybe Hotel 10. That uh, kind of area. He's in East Smoky. What you're saying? We get set up in a tree line, we have a solid position here to hold off. Is the enemy Pretty in much, Yeah, we're going to try to kill him off. Uh, the enemy MRAP tow is. I did take their yeah, contact east of us, 75. I don't know, Ethel, what you see. Yeah. And we've got but Riser and Digit and... with Salty Potato oh, pulling a crawling maneuver to trying to get up tow, behind the uh, to do so. southern forces down here on the west well, for the US. The I, mean, the, the I don't know how well it's going to work because it looks like the US forces are pushing alongside them back up east. Uh, my hat is in my fulcrum, yes. Negative, it's in my uh, assault force. Okay. I'm gonna pull it back. I'm gonna break it. Can we have fire team? Yeah, just low crawling through a yeah. field and uh, 
They're going to make it. As They'll we, make it. The rest but of the U.S. forces pull up the ditch. Yeah, this is not going to end well. Uh, they post up on this ditch. What's up the oh, they're trying to pass through these trees. Oh, they they might not even pay it, be pulling it. Looks like the U.S. forces are in full pullback. Okay. They are not stopping. Remember, they will see that. Yeah, Evans yeah, called out this uh, lethal push. Okay, I got smokes. We've got both mortars. Just let me know when to use them. Sitting back here. Ooh. Russian Ooh, forces got lucky. Who's that on? Uh, down here on the west, looks like the U.S. forces dropped some mortars on the last known position for some of the uh, Russian forces. They luckily pushed eastbound. Just getting mortared. Ow. Oh, like I spoke too soon. Hurt. Yeah. They'll make it. They're running looks, out of it. Where do you want that smoke? Looks like command's about to start calling uh, in smoke. Fit, bro. I'm coming up right behind you. Let's get this push on the way. Looks like the Russian forces are within their likely, their favorable positions to start pushing in. Yeah, that's my concern. I'm only three effective, so. Give me a point. Give me a mark on the point. We're gonna do. We're gonna use our mortars, and then we're. That is a really long mortar barrage. Yes, it is. I once again am happy there's no sandbags. Looks like Riser, Digit, and Salty Potato have made it into the tree line, and I don't think they've been spotted. Uh, they haven't even called out this force since those mortars were called in. I don't think they have any idea that Salty Potato, Digit, and Razor are this close. Got it. That's fine. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. It looks like. If Abu Hajar looks a little bit to his right, he would see Digit. No doubt he would. Yeah, he's, lo he's looking at the opening. He should have the opening in his peripheral and focusing on the tree line in front of him. Wait. He's looking straight at him. Ethel, you're ready he's to go focused. In. I'm ready to go in. Two? You good? I don't know if he spotted him or not. In about 20, 30 seconds, give me another mark. Once those start to slash, and I'll get the smoke. It takes a while for the smoke, so. Or you can do it. No. And smokes. No, artillery. On the point. Smoke for one I don't know oh, if that was. Oh, no, just, just north of it. That is a wasted. Oh, no. Sandbags. Look away, look away. <laughs> Looking away doesn't help, the physics are still there. <laughs> yeah. uh, I believe just gets taken down. I am getting frame dropped. My eyes are starting to hurt. I'm gonna attempt to keep movement as still as possible while this mortar drops in. It does look like U.S. forces have finally seen Digit Riser and Salty Potato. Ethel, give me a mark so I can smoke the north side for you. Doesn't have to be close, just anywhere around it. Copy. And here come the smokes. Request sand command. Is that it? We actually can't do it for 40 seconds because oh, here comes the rest. Millimeter on that. Yeah, there's supposed to be two strikes, but they're having to wait a 40 second cooldown before they can use oh, the second one. No. No in the round. 34. 
Yeah, but even just one covers such a large area. Oh, yeah. The downside, that's not really going to help the forces pushing from the north. And definitely not going to help the forces pushing from the west either, because they've got a small cropping of U.S. forces in this farmstead here. He's got to be hurt. With full but, view yeah. on anyone trying to push in. Uh, Try to keep him safe. We can see him. And the Russians only have 30 more minutes. Okay, I can smoke your side now. Oh. Yep, yep. We are still engaged. Chicken's right getting now. pretty close. Uh, when smoke goes up, we'll be assaulting. Yeah, I need another marker smoke. I couldn't use it, but I can now. Down here on the southwest. Once we're all out of the field, let's get up. Bring the shit in the window for you if you want them. Spec three. Take this off. Marty, you want to push past you? I think you can. Yes, Wookie's going. Looks like there's a very small cropping. What is this? I don't know if that's legal that Daniel's doing. Uh, no, that is not. Oh dear. That is not what you would do in a regular uh, operation. A normal soldier wouldn't do something like that, but he's down. Yeah. Alright, that leaves Raggy, the only one left. Oh, that and Silas, the only two left on the southwest side of town. Let's see how the rest of the Russians have been doing. It's like Oddball's gotten pretty close to the northwestern side. Him flicker and frost. Frosty. And it sounds like the Russian forces are bringing up their armor. And it looks like the U.S. forces are pulling back from the, f the edge defensive positions into the interior of the town. And three's pulling back off that point that Boogie was commanding in the beginning. And we've got more smokes, smokes inbound. Come in. Yeah. Now see, smokes are fantastic. I prefer them over mortars because they don't they don't cause lag. <laughs> they don't blow up sandbags. Yeah. Gotta go in now. And as much smoke that comes in, it doesn't cause any lag. Yeah. Uh, I think it's because they're all flat PNGs. Um, if you look at them properly, it's just layered um, imaging. Uh, it looks like this smoke has allowed the Russian forces to push into the northwestern north side of town without any issue. And the Russians on the west have successfully taken that farmstead. Just the west of might be taking house. out the MTLB. Oh, that's not good. Out it goes. It did hit it, but I don't think it took it down. Uh, we're going to use the breach to root this guy up. Okay. Who's going to win, the MTLB? Or the... Uh, oh, Evan shot oh, out. Evan. That's so just... now we know it's not a crows. Nope. And it looks like the armor. Not quite sure if they're in the safe yet, so they are popping smoke and pulling back. Safe thing to do. Get some repairs going. Now the dangerous thing here is we got a Bartok warrior still up. I have just said his name, so that could change. It 
it's on 10% attack ammo as well. We're gonna RTB it. Damn, Damn, no. Send it back I again. I got this button. I got this button. Okay, we got a charge going down yeah. to clear out some guys. And forget uh, about the striker. And it is barricaded up in front of the schoolhouse with uh, Hesco walls all the way around it. Oh boy. That's uh, both a good plan and a bad plan. It's a good plan because it's, it's protected. It's a bad plan because it has nowhere to run. Yeah, it can't move. No. So if they lose this point, that's a guaranteed loss right there. Also, it kind of looks like it's uh doesn't quite fit so well within the uh, boundaries of the point that it's barricaded. It's kind of teetering. Oh, Guardian just missed the MTLB oh, with another toe shot from the toe MRAP. Yeah, we are quite Ooh. pinned here, Command. We're trying I to mean, just up. missed him. Didn't get MTLB is he opening up again. Ooh, it did get an engine shot, I think, on the MRAP. Or Matt uh, B. Engine. Oh, uh, yeah, it is a little damaged. Guardian pulled it back and see if he can get some shots from behind a hill cover. Russian forces trying to dish out some damage to the U.S. forces within the town. Can we get around this barbed wire? Yeah. Uh, bar bar. And yeah, it sounds like we might have a small issue with the breacher loadout. Might have the wrong, wrong uh, C4. Little C4. Uh, just a little. And the Russian forces have gotten into this little barricade here in the town, pushing up on Phoenix. So I'm entering it. I might go down. I said four, three, two, one. Someone building something There's friendly south of us, be careful. Although there's these red buildings south of us, I don't think it's clear, but there's friendly as fuck. And if they didn't know he was there, where, they do now. I? Phoenix just gave his position away to four. I mean if we use mock we can we don't know Russians. Basically fly The southern building is heavily fortified. I'm talking like quadruple layers of wire. Razor being asked if they cleared the schoolhouse and Razor replying back, negative. It's so heavily fortified. Yeah. Holy ctr I didn't take a good look at the the schoolhouse. I'm just looking at it now. There's just razor wire. How much build material did they take? I don't know, but it, I think they took everything the game had. <laughs> oh, man. That is... And the bad part is they got Hedda over here in the... Uh, in their armor just staring at that entrance waiting for him to come in. Command, we're going to have to try to... I could try and get a Shug tosses out her grenade. Oh, it's salty oh, potato. They they can hear him outside digging. Oh yeah. But the thing is, is they're digging on the outside of the wall. There's still razor wire on the inside of the wall. Fifteen minutes left in the round. Can the Russians pull it off and take schoolhouse? There's a fucking striker. I'm gonna cover them. With They've times. spotted the striker. <laughs> yeah, the super fob striker. Yeah, the super fob striker. Dude, I'm the last person alive in my squad. 
or as as the uh, command stated, I've spotted the FU striker. <laughs> yes. It had us turned his 50 cal towards it. And open up that mod deuce. Anyone who tries to come through that little hole. Sugarheart trying to take out Riser. He's down low. I'm watching with. Someone shoot this asshole. I got an AT, He's, but he doesn't have an ammo. I got a wall between me and him. I can't see him, man. Ammo. You want me to throw a nade on him? Okay. I'm literally just. Just I'm literally just. Uh, I, have a, I have ammo. I have ammo. We're moving for you. Uh. I don't know how the Russians are gonna do this. They're kind of picking at the uh, defenses on Schoolhouse, but they're not pushing their way in. And it doesn't really matter which way they go, they're still going to have to deal with that striker. Uh, if we can get around the striker, Good lord, all those assets at Schoolhouse are just screwing my frames. I'm doing pretty good. Though, though then again, I'm also looking at the back of the Schoolhouse and not the front. Yeah, Oddball, if you can... Flank to the west, come down south. Looks so like the Russians tossing to smoke in the building. doorway. Maybe gonna to attempt to rush in and get past the striker. As long as we hold it, of me. It's fine. As long as we hold it before time expires, we win. Maybe, maybe it's just my game. We're going for the long way around, man. South side. Yep, that works. We just need to focus on getting into that skill building. Oh, didn't see your message there, Ronan. So, currently, for this round, round two, it looks to be the U.S. side winning. Round one, the U.S. did not get lucky. They, uh, they got rolled by the, uh, we know evil buddy came up in the north, they cut off the east enemy. Russians. Okay. Just gotta smoke it looks like the so Russians are gonna, I Russia guess they dropped the off the, uh, M in a friendly POI. Or did he get taken down? Uh, it looks like it on them. Oh yeah, they left it in a friendly POI, so they'll be able to keep that. Okay, let's just not waste it too looks let's kill like the can and not worry about too much about the ones U.S. Can. forces have pretty so much no skimped on anyone on the yeah, up, upper to floors in schoolhouse. Okay, Everyone's okay. been relocated to the basement except for Everyone's Bartok been. and Hedda and Silver alongside Sugarheart. Riser pulling the crawl maneuver. He is inside the walls of school. At this hole in the wall, I think. Toward the but head has got him pinned. Oh yeah. Frag in, pretty close to silver, but no cigar. Trees. They're your friend. Use them. Russian forces still haven't managed to make it inside schoolhouse yet. If they don't pick up the pace, they're gonna lose it. Yeah, we got 13 U.S. forces left. They know they're surrounded. Ty Ty has made it into the compound on the other side. Striker's not looking at him. Watch out when you drop. Watch out. There you go. Oh, I take that back. <laughs> you got Bartok. Really? The legendary warrior with a lat on his back. I'm gonna try your ballsy grenade. Be careful. I'm gonna drop. Wait, first one's clear? Are you in? Second room's clear. And it looks like when I wasn't looking, the Russian forces didn't make it into the schoolhouse. Hedda just not performing his duties very well as a uh, all-powerful yeah, striker got, gunner. Yeah, you got a uh, Razor. Oh, they're cleaning house now. Yeah, 10 minutes, but they got to get everyone out of the basement. Sugar and Alpha Guido. <laughs> oh yeah, Alpha. Dude, Alpha Guido trying to shank 
Thin bones. And that pretty much leaves. Everyone in the basement. This one, in front of me. Oh no, that was Shug. Alpha's still down in the basement. Oh yeah. No, I was looking at his tag. Dang it. Yeah, that was Sugarheart. Oh, down goes Aethel. I think he was... I don't know who he was taken out by. That's a, that was Alpha. He's got a sneaky peek on the doorway. Oh, I see it. That is sneaky. Oh, down goes Thin Bones. Why has no one ever used that? So far, the U.S. side has managed to defend their point. Russians may not get this in time. I'm gonna watch the window. There's an opening on the left. The striker's got eyes. No one has even attempted to try and take out the striker. I think everyone's just dead. Yeah, they're just asking how his head is still alive. Still got Tinkerbell, CT, WG, Black GoPro, and Guardian outside of the compound. Watch out. Watch out. I can hear the radio. I can hear the radio. Ronan in chat claiming he is a uh, basement clearing pro. I don't know. I think you would even have issues with this one, Ronan. Look at all the ARs that are. I still have a nade. Who's got nades? Nade count. So we can. Uh... We know who's up front. Gotta be in the basement. Only counting seven yeah, left for the Russian forces. Okay, yeah, the Russian forces down. are currently yeah, trying to get, get, there, get reorganized. They might run out of time before they get so done with that. Do you want me to hop first? I'm just uh, not not only that, it, 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 they might run out of health. A lot of them yeah. are looking low. Yeah. It looks like they only got about, I think, about nine minutes. Not much time. I think less than that. That that uh that warning went up from Pony a while back. Uh oh, that noise. Losing more health, just jumping over the uh, barbed wire here. Be careful, you Be careful, you. Very careful. They're moving inside. Yeah. I'm going in as soon as that blows. Straight out the other doorway. Left side clear. Left side clear. I'm stepping out of this room. Oh, someone just died in the wire. That's that building. Sad. They completely forgot about the uh, windows and the striker staring at them. I'm alive. I'm alive. False is alive. You, you made it to the right. towards the stairs? I'm, I'm okay, watching the top of the stairs. Oh, uh, just as the striker had a view of... Oh, no. They're gonna try to crawl all the way past the... Past where Hedda is. Okay, don't, don't crawl in there. They're too slow. If you need me, if you need me... See anything? Don't say anything. Hold on. I this is care. where it all happened. Can they push in the rooms? My question is, if they take the basement, do they also have to take out Hedda? Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Was that from oh, downstairs? Oh no. Yeah, that's from I'm downstairs. not sure. That is from downstairs. We got any more guys? Down what side? Do you know what side he was? It was definitely the right side because they didn't have angle from the left. Doors wagering less than five and left. All the way down here besides this, correct? Hey, I think he's right. right. Side, I think there's only there's four. Other Russians are debating hide. whether or not they're on the left or right well, side. Little do they know they're on both. What about ammo boxes? Yeah. Nope. Fuck. All right. Well, they're probably we, left and right. we have smoke grenade. If so Steve-O's not careful, he's going to expose himself to uh, main man Guido we over we here. Have time. We have time. Here we go. I'm going to throw a smoke. You guys ready? Here goes the smoke. Is that what we get next? Do you want to answer that? you want to answer that? 
we need some more. Yeah, Alpha Guido sitting at four kills. Head is sitting oh. at twelve. Oh my god. That noise. Four five um, now. Go, Stevo. Another Alpha Guido takedown. This is dirty. Those corners. All I see is white smoke. Russians calling that uh, U.S. forces are breaching. I don't see anyone around breaching anywhere. I mean, you still got the, the five outside of the compound to worry about, too. Yeah. Okay, in goes Lawn Darts and Frosty. Lawn Darts missed the doorway. Frosty got in the, the uh, left side. Took down. Oh, how did Lawn Darts make it? Oh, no. Oh, taken down by Dorf. So, let's see here. Yeah, Frosty took out two people out of three on the left side and door. What was that? Lawn darts took out. Frenzy and Stevo. Ooh. Oh no, Stevo's down. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's GG. U.S. forces successfully uh, defended their second point of the session. Wow, that's uh. That feels good. Yeah, that was good. That was fun. I'm liking this campaign so far. I hope we keep on uh, doing it after Monday. Oh, yeah.